Hey, it's Jim. It's uh, Wednesday, I think it's the uh, 24th or something today, January. Uh, just back to the old 290 steel. Yeah. We were going through uh, switching it over from the spur drive here to a proper rim drive. Parts just came in through the dealer, so uh, we'll finish that up. <coughs> so I uh, pulled the clutch cover off. Um, we'll take our E-clip off. Washer. Make sure our chain brake is released so that uh, the drum actually spins. Okay. And then uh, you guys remember we greased the bearing last time. I'm not sure if they give us a new bearing here. No, it doesn't look like it. <clears throat> it is a pretty complete kit though. Uh, I'll just open it here and we'll uh, <clears throat> take a look at it. Okay, so uh, I guess first off, I'll give you the part number. I'll try and also post it in the uh, comments or description here. It's 11250071001. That's for the uh, 32572 uh, rim sprocket. So it actually has the... Uh, smaller center in it there's a, another number out there that uh is one for a larger center but then you need a different clutch bearing so that's why i'm going with this one but anyways okay so we've got our clutch drum we definitely need that got a new rim sprocket as well a new washer and a new e-clip okay so that's pretty good, uh, what was it, it was uh, 52 bucks or something Canadian, I think. Probably about 12.99 in the States. Anyways, um, yeah, so that way in the future, <clears throat> you can just replace the rim drive sprocket here. And um, like I tried to explain in the previous video, um, these do float, so it actually helps the um, alignment with it. Um, you can see the old damage, or at least I think you can, on this spur where it's all chewed up. And then what happened with that is it actually affected the drivers on the chain. So I think there's three chains that I'm going to suggest the guy just uh, recycle because... Uh, to try and get all those burrs off it's gonna be a pain and um then he's paying my shop time to do it versus uh just buying new chains so anyways the other thing that you run into with the risk of that though too is uh actually <clears throat> um a bunch of wear on the inside groove of the bar um and i'll have to check that as well and make sure that it didn't open up the grooves too much in that bar so anyway um okay so we'll switch this over okay so uh <clears throat> maybe if i turn this sideways here but uh we remember there's a steel tab behind this clutch it's called the worm gear that's what actually drives your oil pump um this has a little notch in it where you line that up and it also has a little mark so you can see it from uh, outside. I can uh, see my worm gear there. So you wanna do that and you heard it click in. And uh, when we look at this, okay, there's some, um, we can see this drum is all the way in. If it was sticking out like this, we'd know that, that we weren't over that uh, worm gear, but <clears throat> because it's all the way in, now we've got room for the uh, <clears throat> washer and the E-clip to go on after we put the uh, sprocket on there. 
if it sticks out too far because it's not over that uh, worm gear, then you'll realize that you can't put your washer or your e-clip on. So if there's anything that you end up having to fight with it, uh, just double check that uh, you've actually got it over the tab for the worm gear there correctly. Okay. And then uh, I think I'd mentioned before, these are a, a lot lighter duty washer, so they're pretty good. But I always uh, flip the uh, E-clip to the side where the stamp comes down. So the rounded edges are actually down. It makes it uh, a little easier to install and, and remove later. Okay. And then we just uh, take our plug wrench. Whoop. Plug wrench and snap it whoop come on just when you're on video eh? snap it over there okay and then actually I'd uh, I'd replace one of these previous video but uh, looks like there's one missing up here too so I'm gonna scrounge around and find another, another pad there but uh, anyways that's basically done okay have a good week. We'll get you later.